with the uh, Shadow Demon with the I Warlock guess band. Most of the teams would just pick up Luna because you don't want to give the SD and Luna on the same team. That's what I've been seeing yesterday and today. But Ehome is a very weird team, so maybe they are not gonna do the same thing as everyone else. They've got all those like really weird strats, they give you SD Luna and they pick a Pugna, so they life drain and kill all the illusions. Yeah, Ehome would be. Uh, they are like the crazy team that would do stuff like that. Yeah, it would be the only, only team that would really safely plug in a strat against the illusions. They no, they're the actually route. going back to the normal route. Oh god. Is it, is it, do you think that's a good sign or a bad? Because I kind of feel like it's a bad sign. You it know? could be both though. Like I want to see crazy. E I want to see Ehome like run the crazy stuff that they but do. But they were losing for such a long time. True. They've been losing since. Uh, they lost a lot of games. Uh, they, they they placed like what fifth or fourth at the Northern Arena. Yeah, it was. And then they lost at Summit pretty badly. So they have been training when, very when, well. When, when you keep games. losing, it gets to you. You, know, you, yeah. you, you. you are the captain, and you're like, do we stick to our guns? But yeah. we've been losing for two weeks. And if we lose the game because of this, because I'm refusing to change my ways, mm -hmm. then my teammates gonna be mad at me. So Lana will bow down to the meta, they'll take the Luna second I mean, at, at the same time, you know, you, you don't really want to just follow what everyone is doing. Yeah. You, you gotta have, like, your stand. You gotta have that fine line between following the meta and establishing your own... your own draft. Yeah, your own identity, like the way you guys want to play. Speaking of uh, establishing your own, own draft, uh, Darkseer is not the most popular offlaner right now, but you've got a Luna on the enemy team, right? That's probably one of the more valued heroes to pick Darkseer against. Very difficult for offlaners to get a lot of uh, experience and farm. Darkseer is one of the better ones against Luna. But generally, you want to build Darkseer in a lineup where you you allow him to either use the Iron Shell very very aggressively in the early game, or you build a draft around team fight like vacuum combos. Oh, they ban out the Pugman. <laughs> yeah, just just, in, just case. in case. Yeah, mm. you never know if that Pug is still gonna come out even if the Siler hero. I guess they might next. want like something like an Alchemist or some other illusion based hero. Yeah. So, Ehome does not have like good ways of dealing with it. I mean, they still have the Lion if they really want to deal with those illusion heroes. Like, Ehome plays a lot of uh, heroes that other teams don't pick a lot. Right now, at Finham with the Darks here, they're probably like thinking whether we should go down the team fight route or you want to go down the, the M I would call it the MVP route where they just fight with the Iron Shell in the early yeah. game. And do you think the, the whole MVP route? is usually dependent on being able to do some sort of aggro dual lane. Luna is one of the tougher carries to lane up against. Do you think that can work if they pick up, you know, Earth Spirit Darkseer or Spirit Breaker Darkseer or something yeah, like that? Yeah, could work. There's a chance that it okay. could work. Really depends on how you want to play it and it also is a good thing if you actually have some strong dual lanes and you force the Ogre to stay bottom and Ogre can really, you know, beat the other lanes then you'll be fine with, with taking that trade. Because uh, in my opinion, I think if you are able to put enough pressure on the enemy safe lane and you force a hero like Ogre to stay in that lane yeah. instead of like roaming and beating the other two lanes, you, it's a really good trade for you. Yeah, that the Ogre is strongest right in those first five minutes when he's winning those the, the mid lane matchup lane, like we saw lane. last game, or you know, and if you can lock him down in the safe lane, you're doing pretty good. Just a good off lane hero right now. Very good against the Darkseer, Mana Burn and the Carapace yeah. to start a fight with, uh, against the Iron Shell. It just always feels good, right? When you don't have to try and hit the the Impale mm. without a set, you can set yourself up with Spike Carapace. That is something, some some Illusion Hero is incoming, <laughs> SD Dazzle. Yeah, yeah. Usually we see uh, when TNC does this, they do it with the Terrible a lot. There's a lot of uh, combination of heroes you can do. I haven't seen Huska for some time you know, with Dazzle. I don't know if you are a fan of that hero. Five seconds remaining. You don't like that hero? I get, I don't know. I uh, I don't okay, like geez. that hero against, let's say, Luna, mm. and I don't like playing that hero or facing up Alchemist. Yeah, that's a great response against uh, the Alchemist. Alchemist, yes. Luna, very greedy. A lot of uh, illusions and Timber so great at dealing with the illusions and a great laning hero against Alchemist. Mm. So they can go ahead and match that. 1v1. Is, is there any way that Ehome can change that? And they run. Oh, girl, help me. Help. Yeah. 
gotta be it. But Alchemist is gonna be yelling, Bro, I need some help. Two minutes of, oh, Huska Band. And they know they can do it because Darkseer doesn't have a, a partner with an aggro dual lane situation. So. They, they might be worried about uh, Team Adfinum doing like some aggro lane, SD Dazzle plus one. Yeah. And Darkseer 1v1 Nyx, which is a, I mean, a decent lane because Nyx just needs to get mana burn at level one. Then you reduce uh, the iron shells in the lane, then you'll be fine. I guess they're still worried about uh, being aggro, aggro lane right now. And oh, with the slot, probably not slot, you don't really aggro lane with slot. So, pretty pretty weak here in the first few minutes, but once you get to the Shadow Blade, he's going to be farming the enemy jungle, causing a lot of problems. Yeah, he denies a lot of farm away from both Alchemist and, and you have Luna. Iron Shell on top of the slot, so it's a pretty good combo there. But another important part of this game, right, is Evil Map Double Ancient, right? Ancient, yeah, greedy. Ancient very, very greedy. Really well, that also depends on how you build the Alchemist because there's another way of playing the Alchemist which is the, the Solar Crest, the other build, the Solar sure. Crest build. Mm -hmm. Shadow Bait, Silver Age, Solar Crest. But even then, right, we're likely to see Luna be taking advantage of the, the Ancient yep. camp. So you kind of want um, an aggressive carry that set control over the map, right? And Sl Slark is one of the few heroes that as a carry is going to be able to invade that air part of the area. Yeah, very easily to him for him to do that with the Shadow Blade. And this is like the kind of MEP lineup they will go for. Every hero doesn't really have a big cooldown. Mm -hmm. They just run at you with Iron Shell, they keep pressuring you. And they are, they are all rather, as individuals, uh, rather self-sustainable mm -hmm. in lane. Slark just needs his level 6, obviously the rest are good. Yeah, we, we might see a lot of movements from the SD and Dazzle early yeah. on to try and pressure the yeah. Alchemist. It's one of the few double defensive combinations that actually has some A lot of damage, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Disruption into... Uh, the heal bomb. So heal catcher, bomb. heal bomb. And right now for E-Home, they're gonna need a support that's gonna allow them to, you know, have a better laning pace. And we see a lot of Rubik with Luna today. Um, but if you talk about dealing with Darks here, you want something like a... Probably like an Oracle. What about Kato? You're trying uh, to buy time, right? Uh, Cotter is also, yeah. Cotter is pretty good. Timber. Mana Lake owns Slug and Timber, so yes. it freaking owns them yeah. so hard. And he buys, buys time for you with the, the D push. Mm -hmm. But the issue with that hero is like, he's an easy kill for the Slug throughout the game. Sure. Uh, this is a Slug counter, but I. I, I'm, Timber, person, uh, I'm personally not a fan of this hero because he mm. is somewhat. I mean, this hero doesn't really do a lot apart from just like ice blasting a specific target, yeah. like an alchemist, for example, or a Husker. In this case, they want to use the ice blast on the slug every time, and obviously, good counter for the dazzle as well, the heals. And like you said, the magic with this, uh, the reduction against the timber will be great too. Mm -hmm. I don't know, the laning phase is very worrisome about this hero though. It, it certainly is. It feels like the. Uh... There's not really going to be much of a threat for Timbersaw. Like he's going to feel the Ogre Magi in the first, you know, two or three levels. That's going to be annoying, but eventually, you know, he'll get a good amount of farm in mid. There's certainly no one who's going to be threatening the Slark rather early. That's just a mix of the most. Part. I mean, if they get their levels and if they can get past the early game without losing too much, Ice Blast with the Nyx ganks would be really good. That's uh, the biggest upside for like when you're playing an offlane Nyx and you have Sunstrike or you have Ice Blast. It makes the game very very good for you because it's always easy for you to set up ganks. Like, usually when you're playing Nyx, you're gonna like, oh, can someone TP here? Like when you have a global spell like Sunstrike and Ice Blast, then everything becomes a lot easier. Yeah. More important question, Winter. Are we gonna be seeing the Axe Luna gifted by the Alchemist? I am afraid Nyx and Ancient Apparition are really good candidates for X. <laughs> Sadly, Nyx is probably the probably one of the best X up yes. in the game. Bro, sorry, Luna. Sorry, I can't side on you this time. This is going to be a game where Nyx is. I I feel like Old Eleven has to get so much done in this Wait, game. Wait, they're actually gonna go aggressive lane this slot? Is that happening? I mean, I I. Huh. I was thinking about the aggressive lane, but... Ooh. Slark is not an aggro trailing hero. I mean, he's that. not. But if you think about the grand scheme of things, if it gives your other lanes easier time, maybe it's worth it for them. Mm -hmm. Darkseer gets a lot of farm from the safe lane, you get a, a faster map. And their lane is actually not that weak, they're very strong. Like, the, the other two supports are very good in the laning phase, the Dazzle and the SD. The battle begins. If you think about it, their combo is Disrupt. 
town, so you have another hero <laughs> than the hero boss. It's a lot of damage. Do, do you do, do you think this is more about dodging the Luna aggro trying? Wh which team is setting the aggro yeah, trying actually, first? Who is it? Who is I think it, it, it's got to be Advent of dodging, right? Yeah, probably Advent of dodging. Yeah. Because they they place a very early ward on the off uh, on the e home off end here. They actually I think they saw one of the heroes at top and yeah they did. The, oh, the disrupt. Uh oh, kill bomb. Here comes the combo. <laughs> And a whole lot of them just gets destroyed. Rip. You thought, oh, two defensive heroes? Oh, they're not going to deal do too much damage. Wrong. Very wrong about that. Dota 2, boys, you know. <laughs> yep, yeah, that is indeed a game that we're watching right now. Ehome versus Anfinim, game number two. Spartan has already come down to the bottom lane trying to help out the, uh, the Slark and zone out Old Eleven quite a bit. He's already hit a pretty good heal wave against Old Eleven, too. Our, our Shadow Demon will be here in all due time. Thug, you're not really too worried about uh, the Ogre Magi's impact on Thug, right? He, he, like, as soon as he picks up level 3, he not care anymore. Oh, Ehome really need to get down here right now. And the Luna at the same time is not having... Oh, bottom lane, the Pounce. Already out there, he does not have a spike hair face either, so they're gonna try and body block old 11 until he's forced into a disruption. They body block him some more. They don't actually have enough mana for the heal, unfortunately. Oh, Dazzle. Dazzle has no mana for heal bomb. Yeah, now old 11's gonna be the target instead. They start right clicking him down with the two supports. Who's gonna get the kill first? They do manage to kill the ancient apparition. It looks like Spartan still managed to get out. Gardner's gonna try and run him down, but he's missing 10 movement speed to actually catch up to that wily devil. Push back Madara a little bit, but more importantly, All right. they lost their support. This aggressive lane with the slugs working. <laughs> it is, apparently. All oh, top to, lane. Uh... Darkseas as well, like pressuring the... Like this early game is really good. The Darkseas also pressuring the Luna, pushing him back. This is really not good for Ehome. Bottom lane not going well and the Luna being left alone and on top against the Darkseas. Not getting free farm as well. Yeah, Luna is... Think like, oh, range heroes must be fine versus Darkseer, right? But Luna's not really a range hero. Sort of like a half range. <laughs> yeah, it's like the for the same reason that Morphling and Luna aren't good versus SK, right? So it's how a bit too close? Uh, oh, heal bomb. They have mana for heal bomb this time. Oh, my, oh, oh my, god. my god! Ogre's so tanky at level one, oh, and the turn for just gets ripped like paper. Strongest level one hero? Question mark. Yeah, I mean <laughs> that's physical damage too. That's the thing is that Shadow Wave is physical damage. You would think the high armor of the ogre would would make it look okay, but not when you got Soulcatcher already on you. Well, I guess if it, it was any other. Other support hero, there was no need for them to chase after that hero. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Every other support just would have instantly died. Uh, I mean, looking on the bright side, Alchemist is actually farming really well. Oh, bottom lane, that's another fight. Yeah, he's done for. He doesn't have Shallow Graves, so they will manage to catch him. Mono will also take a lot of damage. Okay, this is the well. point where you do not want to block here anymore. <laughs> he's yeah. gonna struggle to farm, but for Ehome. Oh, oh, Chicken, he's getting run down by Tark, waiting for the next going death, maybe? No, not gonna chase, but he's getting a good amount of CS uh, against the Timber. I was expecting this lane to be much more difficult for the Alchemist, but he's doing a good job in terms of getting last hits so far in the lane. Yeah, he really is. The Whirling Death should make it a lot harder for him, but maybe the early Iron Talon allowed him to be able to pick up most of the CS despite low damage. Oh, Levin, he'll die! Oh no, maybe he won't! Spike Carapace? Nah, never mind. He's actually gonna take out from the Dazzle. Bit of poison touch action, and Gardner's gonna be dying too, I think. They have five more seconds till it pounces up, and it's not even needed. Gardner slowed down easily enough for Spartan to be able to oh pick up that kill. God. All out offense here from Ad Finum. Spartan still not too to go for Shallow Grave. He's all about that poison touch. Lanes are really not going well for Ehome. They're gonna have they're gonna have a problem in the next couple of minutes for Doug. Doug is not a right clicker. Doug did not outright click that alchemist, despite being in position first. Thanks a haste rune. Unfortunately, won't be able to get the bounty. Shadow oh, Demon caught man. that. Now he's going to be able to get the disruption on the old 11 spike hair face. Ah, well baited out by Ad Finum. They hold on to their combination of spells, knowing the spike hair face would come, but it's still going to cost him maybe next time in his life. Ad Finum going to try and trade it away for old Lana, as Modern does manage to I get guess in. No the mana, though. He's probably dead here. Quelling blade through the trees. Nah, old 11. He quelling blades as well. Finding Madara, not allowing him to escape. And then he had a nice double kill for old 11, speeding up this Nyx assassin. I mean, it's gonna be up to this Alchemist since he's like the one that probably got the best time out of the laning phase out of everyone else on e -home. Refill of the bottle. One of the big upsides of your supports dying as a mid laner, you just tell them, hey, DP mid. 
Fill me up, homies. Well, if he's gonna carry you in the game, why not? Sure, sure. The last game that he played the Alchemist, he actually totally skipped the outlet. I'm not sure if you watched that. Yeah, game. I saw that. I saw Our that. Our in the Radiance. Uh, why, why do you think that was? Was it something specific about the enemy's lineup, or do you think that's just an overall decision by him? He wants Radiance faster. I just think it's greedy to do that. Because yeah. you have. Oh, here comes uh, Disrupt. Disruption, but he has the Chemical Rage out. The burst damage he may still be able to get to him or not. He actually easily turns around. He's got Siler coming in from the cliff side. It looks like they're going to be able to chase down Spartan here. Spartan still not having that level in Shallow Grave. He tried to go for the heal instead, thinking this combination would make it worth, but it just ends up with him dying. Killing spree for old 11. He takes the last hit. The nice man of Burn now having level 6 and Arcane Boots. He said this Nyx Assassin did need to accomplish a lot. He needed to be able to buy a lot of space, and he is kind of set up to do so with a 6 minute level 6 in, in Arcanes like this. And that's basically all he needs, Arcane Boots, and he's really good to go running around to set up kills and you want to give a lane to, especially the AA, to get his level 6. As a, as a Nyx, you are sort of considered a support despite being on a core position. You don't really need much on that hero. Yeah. You're basically just going to give your team a lot of space to farm, put a lot of pressure on the enemy team. Especially. Force that support to buy sentry, that's like the most awful thing of a support thing in Nyx. Yeah. Off sentry at every entrance, oh lot. This guy doesn't even need to buy an acronyms for himself, so there really is a whole lot of need for farm. Some some Nyx assassins will oh, fight he's, it. He's going omelet this game. He's not going to skip the omelet. Okay. Oh, bottom lane disrupt. Disruption. Siler. Oh, Jesus, again. You can see exactly why Spartan leveled that heal up. He tries to get the maximum amount of the move damage. They will be able to get the turnaround kill. Shadow Demon oh, dies in the but it's not worth it for Ehome. That's certainly... Luna in exchange for the Shadow Demon and Garner is... She's stuck here. The Creep Wave is going to tank the tower, so they yeah. might go for the dive here. Uh, Ehome has any plans to TP in. The Nyx Assassin is really the only one who can try and spare Garner's life if he's dope here. Or they're just going to catch Lonham. They actually loop around, manage to get the poison onto him. Lonham slowed down easily enough for Skylark to give him the old Kung Fu Punch. Fishing mob. Spartan. And go ahead and TP out. There's no, There's no mana from Garner. Oh god. <laughs> Winter holds his head. Uh oh, mid lane. Doug. Oh, gonna go down. Good rotation from old 11. He sees the uh, aggression coming out from Doug. Finally, oh, does another bottle refill. Sure. <laughs> Life of a mid laner. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to be the king, right? It's nice to be a mid alchemist. Everyone wants to help you out. You get the attention, you know, because everyone's like. Remember, I, 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 I refilled your bottle. Remember yes. my eggs? Give me that agonim scepter. Dude. It's the, you know that, that moment, right? Where he gets the agonim scepter and there's always like, like, who wants it? Everyone is clamoring for that agonim scepter. Everyone's trying to I find I refilled your bottle twice in the early game. Uh -oh. I deserve the agonim scepter. Spartan, <laughs> again? This poor, <laughs> this poor alchemist is just getting so unlucky on the bounty run so far. He keeps going top and it, it, the bounty run keeps end up being bottom. Still, he's on a really good, you know, really good net worth right now at eight and a half minutes, close to five thousand net worth. Still yes. pretty good for him. And right now, E Home supports plus the Knicks are gonna try to help out Sila, which is having a very rough time. Sila's kind of baiting himself because he's got these two heroes coming in with a smoke, but Sila's almost dead already. He do manage to get the spike carapace combination on the Skylark. Sila turns around, finishes him off. Eclipse turns to goes for Spartan, but Spartan pops the shallow grave and finishes him off first. He's probably not making out of this one alive, but well worth the effort there. Spartan still managed to get the kill on Luna despite the bait set in by Eho. That was that was actually quite an okay trade. They still got the tower. Tower wasn't denied, even though there was it was a two for one trade. But they had to blow a big spell, the eclipse for for that. Oh, Tark! He's just running in to try and steal the creeps. But here comes the Nyx. Oh well, he doesn't get the bigger creeps. TP's out. Garter's not going to be able to catch him in time, it seems. Yeah, this alchemist is going to be a problem right now. I mean, but they do have good heroes to deal with him. Slug and Timber are pretty good cause at killing the alchemists and they have to disrupt to make their radiant their own radiance army. Uh, the Slark is like one of those uh, one of the few cores that takes advantage of the fact that Alchemist likes long spread out team fights where he's able to utilize that region and that radiance. And the stats still. Yeah, oh. Slark is just gonna be taking all those stats. Nice kill by old eleven, stopping the timber chain with a well timed spike carapace, finish him off, and at bottom at the same time they do manage to get the garter. Yeah, maybe next time.
Shattered him, and he's having quite the game. Five, two, and two. Oh, and I'm, the bounty room is bought them again. Lou. Oh my goodness, he's gonna be tilted soon. Madara gets uh, got a little bit by this Nyx assassin. Spartan to be beat on by old chicken. Skylar comes in with a wall though, and that should be. Man, I, I'm putting the blame on you, man. <laughs> the bounty is always at bottom. But it really three is. Three times in a row. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Every single time he goes top and he doesn't get a bounty rate. I mean, that's such a such a dramatic difference in in network too for an alchemist. Oh, Madara, he's gonna jump onto Sylar. He has the shadow bit. Oh dear, they he's gonna get blow up. Do not have a saving mechanism for this poor Luna. They're gonna chase down Monum as well. It looks like we've thrown in, give some vision of some TPing heroes. So Abdin will back themselves up a little bit. They get to this high ground area, maybe ready to turn if he home pursue. A bit too far, but they huddle around there, tier one for safety. Madara's gonna go back in after a little bit of heal, but they managed to catch him here with the ancient apparition ultimate. They might be able to kill him. He's not gonna be able to get the regen, but the nuke did not quite land. Madara trying to stay ahead. Old oh, Levin, no, he couldn't finish him off. He goes for the vendetta hit, but unable to get off the stun. He dies too quickly. Uh oh, ah, well, that was missed uh, whirling death. Still though, guard is probably gonna be slowed down enough. Madara's here. He'll have clean up the kill. Add Finnum. Dead, an MVP esque draft from them, and Iron they have an MVP esque plays. Iron Shell running at you at 11 minutes, mm -hmm. and a mech coming online as well on, on Skylark. This is going to put uh, Adrenum at a very, very strong position. And Ehome is still waiting for that Alchemist to get to his Radiant, so they are going to play a slower game, and Adrenum are just going to not allow that to happen. All chicken, try to push them back. Slow down these pushes with the acid spray. Gosh, that's this big ancient stacks. Oh. I mean, I guess Adfidon don't have to line up to steal the stack. So yeah. even if they find it out, so they can't just... really do too much about it. Yeah, all they can do is kind of stall you. Maybe try and catch you when you're farming it, but... The first step in loosening the control of that ancient camp is taking away both the mid tier one and that off lane tier one tower in Ehome, or excuse me, Ad Venom have almost taken that mid tower so and here far. comes old 11. The God of War being laid down right as Madara shows himself on a garter, starts right clicking and stealing up those stats. Old 11 in the background gets a nice double stun. Gonna be able to take out both the supports until Ancient Apparition with the Ice Blast comes in. Manage to clip maybe next time they'll be able to get Skylark as well. Old 11 just a monster on the side while Madara's trying to do what he can as this carry coming in nice and aggressive but only manages to get the ogre nyx assassin will trade away his life for the cost of three heroes in that back uh, line madara is running land him down bottom he doesn't have a tp he's trying but to he's going he's down. trying to get a tp yeah. uh, oh my gosh buys out tranquil boots it is two big heroes did not die in that team fight for after them yeah. that is uh, a huge plus for after them despite losing the other three heroes my question to you, Winter, is is how do how does a, a Luna operate in this game? Because normally a Luna, when you're pressured in lane, difficult, ancient like stacks is how you get back into the game, game right? It's very difficult for the Luna. Yeah. Because of the Alchemist, they went really greedy. So if you don't have a good laning pace, he literally got sacked in the early game. Like he was left alone against the the Darkseid. Darkseid was just like running at him. Oh God! Do they really not have? Come on, lay it down. There's smoke pop. Finally, they realize old Eleven's here, but he already got the impale off. So. Could have been another pick off I mean, there. They interrupt the Alchemist mid Oh gosh, stacks. just they got what well, they got like what three of the big creeps? Yeah. Oh that is bad. That is bad. But the Luna is gonna have a hard time operating in a game like this because he's not like a juggernaut or someone or a lifesteal, for example. You're gonna be able to push on your own yeah. like, very far out and just beat rage TP or blade fury TP. Like he is very squishy and very easy to kill. So if he falls behind, she's gonna struggle a lot. And at the same time, your team's gonna be like, we probably want the alchemist to take the farm. <laughs> and you're yeah. gonna, you gotta, you, you can't really do much about that, because alchemist is just gonna need that much space on the map. Yeah, you can see already, this is a good example of that, right? Siler is, is trying to push out bottom lane, but he's doing it entirely solo. They're actually backing up Old Chicken a bit more, because they really want him to complete that radiance. Everyone just wants that Aghanims, you know? They're just doing it because they want the piece, a piece of that Aghanims. Uh -huh. And Madara are not gonna allow that to happen, it's just constantly hunting them down. Has he completed a Silver Edge or Echo Saber yet? Uh, does he have a second item? Uh, I feel like he should have. He should have something else, right? Yeah, he's got 6400 gold, I just don't see where the, the uh, other items are. Wait, something's wrong. 2800 
plus 1500 from treads. There's definitely an item missing. There's something missing. Oh, no. maybe, maybe I'm just <laughs> just counting something wrong. We're trying to do the math, but it's not working. Oh, Ice Blast gonna try to clear out the top lane, but tower in the end still gonna go down to Madara. And right now, Ehom just trying to avoid and you know find the pickup at the Nyx plus Ice Blast as much as they can. Disruption. And a weave on old Lem, slowing him down with the purge. He's gonna go for the TP out. And oh, he has he has level four soul catcher, at level seven. Yeah, I mean he this combination with the, the damage, the damage with, like the, with the timber. Yeah, timber's just gonna destroy the target that's got, that has the soul catcher buff on top. <laughs> yeah, I mean even that alchemist. We'll just get dropped by a level guess, four whirling death. Time to get BKB at some point for the out of this game. Yeah. 60 minutes radiance, not too bad. They were under so much pressure this game from that to them. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I mean, right, right now, e Home are just still, you know, trying to look to keep farming, try to find solidarity pickoffs. They're gonna get the Dazzle here. Old Eleven will be able to hold Spartan in place. The Ancient Empress Nice Blast is gonna be well on point. Old Eleven even escapes. Now it's gonna be up to Ad Finum trying to keep the rest of their course alive. Monara backs himself away. Skylark was gonna be the target. Maybe next time intercepts that. Does manage to get the disruption, probably costing him his life, but at least he ensures that Skylark does manage to make his way out. Bro, that was a... Monara is still trying to fight this one out though. He does not have an ultimate. He's going to have to hide himself into the trees. Skylar goes ahead and tries to play interception. This time he's going to be suiciding himself to try and save Monara, but Monara still dies. He dies inside the action. They just wiped Ad Finum because Monara chose to go back in. Oh my god, they just got the Radiance and Ehom decides what? that that was their power spike and they just ran at them. And they won that fight. Oh my god, you lose a fight like this against Alchemist. Alchemist is just going to get like, what, 5k, 7k gold? They're going to double team wipe them. Brian comes back in, team zero one, he home spots him, he's like, oh, okay, what? Oh we'll just dive you. No big deal. That was just uh, FNM overestimating how strong they are in the game. Mm -hmm. One big mistake like this against Alchemist, that was like a like five, 5 to 7k gold swing. Yeah, you you see just the, the team fight itself is team upwards is of 2,500. 2,500. Yeah, and then you're going to get all the tower and space. That and the Alchemist farm is going to be able to get, yeah, all the farm It's so disgusting when you lose a fight against Alchemist. Yeah. This usually means one big item. Got Boots of Travel now. He's going to have the space to be able to quickly start building into Manta. And, um... Yeah. The, the minus cooldown item. Help me, Winter. Octarine Core. Octarine Core, thank you. I wanted to say Orchid for some reason. I don't know why. It's been a long day. Zeke. Maybe every maybe you were, you were kind of hoping that maybe he gets an early egg in his voice. <laughs> okay, that, that, that's that's Let's go, guys. I, I don't think I've ever seen that done before, but I do think that there's always a good option for the team where maybe you're looking to get that one item. Let's say to push high ground, like you have a razor, you want that egg in. I wouldn't put it past him to actually get an early egg for that matter. You think? Before the the Naga esque builds of Alchemist, before the full out farm of Manta and and Octarine, you think you actually probably early. probably not that early after yeah. the after the minimum the three the Manta Radiance and Octarine call. Okay, I I can get down with that right because you've reached because you you basically maxed out on the farm. But dude, you know some players just like I still need to get my Shivers, I still need to get my AC. Yeah, right. Then you're like, uh, but I am a Nyx Agonims, I can yeah. change the game. And the alchemist tells you, no, I'm getting my Shivas, then you'll be like... <sighs> the deep side that every 3-5 to five position takes and therefore refuses to be a team player. <laughs> tier 2 tower about to be dropped here, old 11. You can try and go for deny and blink out, I dare you to. Not going for it. They don't have to make any, you know, fancy plays anymore because after winning that team fight, Ehom is in like a superb position in the game right now. They are getting to the point where their greedy, their greedier lineup with the Luna and Alchemist is slowly coming online. The Luna is catching up. Alchemist is gonna be a problem. I mean, he is already a problem. <laughs> yeah. It's just gonna become more of a problem once Dude. he gets that constant split push out, right? He has blood loss as well. Oh my god. Yeah. It's so, so difficult for FNM if the game draws up really long. They have to somehow 
get like maybe finish off some items. Well, catching old chicken right now is to get another non-bounty rune. Picks up a regen, which is utterly useless to this guy, since he's got chemical rage. Fortunately, he will not be caught by Ad That would have yep. been the ultimate trigger. They have to like just get a good pick off after they finish their next couple. I mean, I guess that's about it. Of course, Haber, Shadow Blade, and Timber just got his Bloodstone. Like they need to find like a move. Uh, maybe wait for the dagger. Yeah, just wait for the dagger on Dark. So he's really close. Make a move after that. Do you think um, they they do not have a very good Roche taking? Team. Is there any plan around Roshan for Anfin, no. or is it just full on to, smoke into the end? They have to pick off uh, the enemy. I think that would be the uh, best option. Getting yeah. Roshan is difficult unless... Do they have a Medallion? No, uh, no. Yeah, so it would be too difficult. Like, if they want to do Roshan, they would need the supports to get a Medallion. They have kind of word in place. Nyx Assassin wanders straight into a combination of wards and double counter wards. Will definitely be picked off here at Finnum. Continue to push to the right-hand side, knowing that that was where the Luna and the rest of the crew was pushing out. They're not going to catch anybody, though. Just trying to get control of the lanes, but every single time you show this many heroes, Alchemist is going to be free to push out whatever lane he's in. Alchemist Luna. and the Luna, both yeah. of them are just going to push the lanes so far. And well, on the bright side, they do have... Uh, look at If you look at their tree costs, all the tree costs pushes all lane really quickly. The Darkseer, the Timber, and the Slot. So they are going to be able to deal with that just fine. But all in all, they do not want E-Home to keep farming with the Alchemist and Luna. Well, if you think about Ultra Light game, Slot, Timber, and Darks here. Yep. Some serious trouble here. Just going to try and run himself There's back no to TP. Oh, they've no. got an Alchemist. Boots are traveling in. Moderate realized, nope, I'll be here. Not anymore. I was, I was like kind of thinking about like ultra late game with Slot, Timber, and Darks here. Mm -hmm. They are actually pretty good as well in terms of. Uh, but the issue is like Alchemist always picks faster than he also picks. So he gets. About to run. Oh, a three man stun in the Geist Blast is coming in. He's going to be able to nail three, including Madara, who actually pounces his way into that one. Oh, the stun. It goes on to Skylark because he already blinked himself back. Dazzle actually managed to get himself away as well. Looks like all Ad Venom will Wait, be able no to one's dying. Oh, they're going to go back into the vacuum. Now Madara is in a position to be able to clean up some heroes. He goes for all 11. Gets the one, they take down the Ogre as well. Thug granted two Bloodstone charges off that team fight. They just didn't quite have enough damage to be able to finish off anybody. I was so surprised no one actually died on Ad Finem there. Yeah. Like, it, it looked like such a good fight with the Impel from, mm -hmm. from the mix, but no one actually went down there. I mean, even Spartan, he was probably the closest one to dying there, but I mean, he survived. Yeah, that's a good step in the right direction for Epinem after that earlier botch team fight against Ehome. They're starting to regain control, they have a gem on the slot. So it's gonna allow them to control the map and stop the Nyx from picking them off. Thug, can we slow down here? Oh, he's really not afraid at all. He certainly is not. Well, I'm a little bit surprised he even pick up a little bit of magic armor. Uh, that, you that like the casual awesome. hood? Hmm? Yeah, the casual is pretty good here against the Luna, the Nyx as well, oh my god, the Nyx just has so much magic burst against him, especially with uh, the Ice Vortex. Yeah. He might be thinking of, like, Ghost of Travel, I don't know, but I, I would yeah, still like, the, I would still like this, right? the hood, the casual hood, Maybe, even if he doesn't want to upgrade to a pipe. A pipe is also very good for his team against the Eclipse. Did the, uh, he just picked he up, up uh... something. Was it is like, he going, which is better, Lotus Orb or Lincoln? Because he got a Perseverance. Oh. Is he going for Lincolns? But you you don't block the next stun with Lincolns. Yeah, that's only Sand King Burrow that gets blocked by it. Alright, I don't know, Lincolns doesn't seem like amazing here. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really feeling that. I guess he wants Lotus against all that, because there's a lot of uh, single target uh, abilities on e -Hope. Yeah. The stun from okay. Ogre, the Ignite, and that's the Mana Burn, the Lucent Beam, the, the Concoction from Alchemist. I guess it's probably the Lotus. I would be surprised if he goes for Lincolns. Yeah, I would be very surprised as well. But then again, I'm super surprised he didn't go for... Uh, probably a Lotus. He, 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 he bought another Arcane Boot, so it's probably Lotus. Yeah. Gonna disassemble it for the Lotus later. Around here. 
The old chicken, they're gonna try and lead things off with a purge. They go straight onto old chicken, trying to burst him down before that regen can come into play, and they'll be very successful. They can actually get a little bit more here. Back you back into the wall, they're gonna catch Old Lotta. Lotta turns around, gets a decent ice blast off on the bug. If they can actually get some damage holding him in front of that tier three tower, Silas oh, is back. He's gonna be able to get that eclipse and takes one down. The buyback comes out from the Elfman. Being if he can catch more, the stun on the spark almost catches the shattered even in that AoE, but just barely off by a sliver. They do manage to get a buyback out of Old Chicken, though, and that is probably worth it for Ad Venom, right? If I was the SD there and I got stunned, that would be so angry. You'd just be flaming that other support, like, why the hell did you run next to me? Yep, but back to your question, I guess it was uh, really worth it for them. They lost just a Dazzle. Uh, did they lose the Timber? He's so silent, right? Timber so uh, Did he? Yeah, he did. He did. Okay. I so didn't see that. So he suicided, and Alchemist lost a thousand gold. Oh, that disrupt! Time, so, uh, do they have enough? Where's the ice blast? Okay, not coming. So not gonna be able to get the pick off on the SD there. Ice blast is coming now, but nobody's around. I mean, overall, this is how Alchemist needs to keep playing. They have to keep constantly trying to look for pick offs, trying to pressure, use the slot shadow bait, you know, to get whatever they can. Mm -hmm. I can't just sit back and like trading farm against the uh, alchemist because ultimately alchemist is just gonna be six sorts faster than you and he's gonna pull his team X. Yeah. And they have a pretty good lineup at pulling X to be honest. <laughs> they certainly do. Oh, that's gonna be the first X. I guess uh, Nyx would probably I think Nyx for a high ground offense, right? One probably be the first one to receive the X. Yeah. yeah, most likely. Then then it'll be a toss between the 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 ice blast or the or the older yeah that's a difficult call both both is really good you don't think the the luna is contention there I mean the stats are super nice uh, and that ultimate sure, upgrade probably not uh, come, come on winter come on. I, I mean it's a bit gimmicky you know? I know <laughs> well you know who is going to be getting a hood of defiance out of the dark darkseer who's probably going to be picking up a pipe next maybe that's why thug felt like Still, I think a casual hood would be like if you don't want to get a pipe, the dark side will get a pipe. I think I think it's still fine for the timber to get a casual hood. It's I really agree good. With you there. A lot of the players are actually doing. Yeah. Just so much better with it. <laughs> I mean, just look at MP. They have whole entire whole entire strategy based around it. Three hundred defiances and one pipe. Yeah, I mean, I mean, why not? Since the change where you are able to have an active on the hood, I think it's really really good. Like it's so cost effect effective on the item. It's cheap. Gives yeah. you a lot of survivability. Really easy to build up, even just the basic cloak as you're building up the Hood of Defiance's value. Yeah, it's just all in all a very, very good item on Timber. He has a lot of armor, so just give him that magic resistance and you're Gucci, you're good to go in the team fights. Now, normally this would be um, Nyx Assassin. Might be Did he give it to someone else? Wait, wait. Where's the axe? I don't think he's built it yet. Oh, he hasn't built it. Okay, yeah. I thought he already had it. Nyx Assassin will not be caught. Mater is the one holding on to the gem. And this is very important. We haven't talked about this gem, but it is going to be one of the, the things that gives Ad Venom a little bit more time, right? Because they just constantly control map. Map vision is all in favor of Ad Venom, right? Yeah, especially against the Nyx. But like, Ehome buys time by getting a pick up. Oh, Silas could get caught on by Madara here. They are going to be able to come in with Thug. He's forced into a BKB usage, but he's still taking a lot from that physical damage. Instead, Madara is going to go into Gardner knowing that's the easier kill. Claims himself one with his BKB usage. Skylark's gonna come forward, managed to get a three man backing back. Chakram is coming in, gonna cleave through a lot of these heroes. Old Chicken scaring backs up these heroes with the unstable concoction, but Mara is still gonna stream forward, going for old 11. Turns around the side, Old Chicken's a better target, and he gets a blast down with the pounce, and they've got him. Maybe if they have enough magic damage, but Spark actually dies. The Ice Blast is gonna allow them to be able to clean up both of those cores. No suicide this oh time around God, for the, the Timber gem. Saw. Gem is down, Cap. That is so bad for Ad Venom. We just said this is one of the reasons that they can control the map and prevent Ehome from being able to push out and split push uh, he, really efficiently. He wasn't able to pop his Shadow Dance too in that fight. I mean, that was that was a big OA extension by Ad Venom. <laughs> that, that's twice now, right, that we've seen uh, this time around, it was, a, yeah, I think got, it was a mana burn, but... He, he just got destroyed by the Ice Blast and the Eclipse. Yeah. The, the Timber just got evaporated. Having, not having the hood really hurt him there. 
Maybe next time, tries to glimmer cape forward to try and get a disruption onto Luna, allowing them to have some Luna illusions to work off to defend their tower, but he just ends up dying for it. Obelem, though, as he comes for it, is maybe a bit too far. Skylark trying to run him down with the Ion Shell. Fortunately, a spike Carapace. Oh, Timber Chain is actually going to be blocked out as well. He turns around, gets the stun. Thug is dropping lower, but Spartan's ready to go at any moment with a Shallow Grave. Obelem will die eventually. Run down. Is Old Chicken going to die as well? They don't have a stun. No, they no stun. Oh god, that is that is one thing that's really there's another there is another item that Thug could get. Yule Scepter, right? An early Yule Scepter because they lack disables. Or you get level four poison touch. <laughs> yeah, or that. <laughs> that is also something that's missing because we we actually didn't talk about during that during the draft, but they just have no hard stuns. They have disruption. Disrupt right vacuum. Yeah. Oh, vacuum true. Vacuum. I mean, a lot of people say uh, vacuum. Eh, vacuum. <laughs> Long cooldown, yep. and you don't really want to use it on one target, not that reliable. Yep, but overall that's a pretty big weakness before they get like a or even a hex on Timber yep. in the later portion or a hex on the Darks here at some point. And that's why it was so important for Madara to be able to get this constant progression in farm. But he's had he's had a, a, a pretty impactful game, but he's also had two rather big overextensions. That top lane fight we just saw, as well as that mid fight. You know, I, I would say that's an alchemist, alchemist factor. Because when, when you're playing against an alchemist, you're at the back of your mind. You're like, oh, we we need to do we something now. We, we we have to beat that. We have to kill him. We have to beat them at this stage of the game. And then when you're getting kills, you're like, okay, we need to kill the alchemist. We kill the supports, but we need to kill the out. And then it just influences you into making those bad decisions. I'm not saying it's not his fault, but sometimes. Every, when, you're, yeah. when you're playing against the Alchemist, the pressure eventually gets to you, you make a bad call. Every player understands the I think the pressure that out, the heroes like Alchemist and Animage is another good example of here. Oh, the enemy just farming, guys. We gotta fight. We gotta, you know, do something before the AM gets six slotted. Oh, he's going back for the Blade Mill again, huh? On the on the out. He really loves this item on out. Pretty good against the Timber, I'd say. Yeah. And uh, decently effective versus the Slark as well. Oh, that means no Agalims for his team, you know? True, true. Man, this guy is just not a, a team player, man. But still, it's a very good pickup here. Or in, in general against what Athenon have. Yeah. Are they getting waiting for any big items on Athenon? Are they waiting for someone to complete a big item before they make another move. Certainly no real big items, but... Just, I guess just the Basher, basher yeah, the Basher on Madara. Yeah. And right now they're, they're starting to push the lanes with all the illusions. The illusion problems are starting to seep into the game for Advenant. Mm -hmm. Ihoma are the ones that want to make a move here. Smoking and going straight back into the fight. They both reveal themselves. Blink forward by the Nixon Assassin. They actually catch Dazzle. That's really important. Lotus Sword bounces back a little bit of damage, but Spartan's still down. Obelem's gonna die to Madara, but these BKBs just seemingly are not enough. They've already lost the Darks here, and Madara's down to half health. He runs himself away. Thug will be able to TP out as well, it seems. So a one for two exchange, but more importantly, Ihoma, even if they don't monstrously win that team fight, they win it just enough to go straight to Roche. Yeah, that fight was all on Ehome getting the first move. Like, whoever gets the first move, the first jump, the initiation, is just gonna gain a huge advantage. Like, you eliminate someone that quickly out of the equation. And Darkseid was the one that got focused because he's their main team fight hero. Yeah. And the fact that Spartan was another hero that was initiated on, right, is really yeah, bad. Yeah, he couldn't grave anyone. So he just died instantly. Yeah. I mean, right now, Athena are gonna have a lot of problems. Like, even the Luna has already <laughs> finally caught up and has more network than the slot and timber. This is looking like a uh, slow, inevitable death of Ad Venom in this game, number two. But I guess now we get to revisit that conversation, right? Is it a slow, inevitable death? How well can Ad Venom's lineup deal with the late game situation of Luna and Alchemist? Can they actually? Because I think we're already over that hump, right? Luna and Alchemist is online. So now we the the next. Big hump is Alchemist is going to get fully six slotted. Luna is going to start getting closer to six slotted as well. Can Advent actually just try and stall yeah. out the game to go super late? We were like talking about it like a couple of moments before. I'm not exactly that sure. I think that late game is pretty good. Like Darkseer, the stronger your heroes get, 
the stronger Dark Tide gets because the wall is going to make stronger illusions. Right. And Slot and Timber are really good heroes in the late game if you get the farm. If you get the farm. Yeah. Like the issue with the, this game against the Alchemist is he's always going to get the farm faster than you, the Slot or the Timber. Mm -hmm. Like he, he picks faster, so it really depends on how fast uh, the Alchemist is going to finish his. I, I mean, he already finished all his items and they're going to be ready to siege. And Actinum has still so much room to grow. Lottery is going to go straight for old 11. He's already has the weave on him. But the damage! That ultimate. The Shallow Grave goes down as well. Skylark managed to get a nice Alchemist illusion into his hands. Moderate trying to keep Garter back, but nice blast. Nice blast. Oh, he's going to barely clip Madara, but still, the fight is already kind of over. E Home are on full retreat after losing two of their heroes. And Phantom looking to catch something here, but it seems unlikely. E Home moving like the speedy devils they are. Oh, H that Christian. Bash! First hit bash! Second hit bash! No. Moderate. That extra kill. Oh, uh, that, that fight was all on the dark side. He won that fight for his team, like a great vacuum wall there. Giving his team the Alchemist illusion, so... Uh, okay, that was the enemies. Who did he give it to? He, he gave, gave it, it to lot. the lamb? Yeah. Oh, come on! Nyx assassin. I mean, okay, fine. Bro, it's, really? It, it's, it's a big counter to Slug. Yeah. So fine. That, that's... I can live with that, this game. Thanks for that. Our Nyx assassin picked up a blink dagger and a four staff and her all thinking that the Ags are gonna go to him eventually, but I mean he'll have to Alchemist that is gonna too. farm really quick, so sure. the Nyx Ags. Well if he gives the Nyx Ags to the Ogre or the Luna, I'll kill things. <laughs> so can I say in a, a, a very simplified fashion, right? And Finham had the advantage for the first 30 minutes, right? Just because their lineup and Alchemist wasn't ready to go yet. Now it's like Ehum will have the control for like another half an hour. Right, and yeah, then be, maybe be, before we that, 70 minutes or something. And then Atfinan has enough farm to fight back. Like, right. before that, it was like Ehome trying to get, like, waiting to get farm. But then right now, Atfinan is in their position. They're trying to get their cause, you know, six slotted. Whereas yeah. the Timbers, uh, sorry, not the Timber, the Alchemist is already six slotted. I mean, I guess you could say that you can trade off the armlet or the blade mill into something bigger. You can get like a Shiva somewhere Shiva, in that. AC, that Shiva. Oh, yeah. I think BKB is good this game for him against the Timber. It's pretty good. If he decides to get one after. Those are the items that the Alchemist could still go for and obviously a Moon Chart. More Aghanim Scepters. <laughs> more, more, more. Well, to be frank, I think the Aghanim Scepters would be the biggest contribution that he can do for his team right now. Yeah. Makes a huge difference. The Nyx, uh, the Ogre, the Luna. So we'll see whether he decides to, you know, be the team. Skylark. They placed the, the Tinker Ward and they found him. Oh. Skylark is done so. Does he have buyback? Yeah, he has buyback. Yeah, he has buyback. He's slowly but surely <laughs> throwing nukes like... at him. One by one. And he has a pipe, so he takes forever to die, but he finally will. He has buyback though, so probably gonna force him to use it here, yeah, Ehome. He's going to need another clutch vacuum wall. They've already disrupted, but his TP will not be quite fast enough. And Ehome will be able to get themselves back if they want to after forcing that buyback, but it looks like they still want to go for the siege. Oh, they need to be very careful about the vacuum wall, though. Down there on the front lines right now. Moderate is actually going to be leading things off on Asylum, who has the Aegis, so he goes down here. Oh, That's that fine. So quick. But that was very quick. I think that was a soul catcher on him. Round two, Siler does have the BKB this time around. He there blow there was actually time. no soul catcher on him. Oh, really? That was just straight up with their weave on him, at least? Uh, oh, there's the vacuum wall. They got both the cores. That is important. e are going to try and fight through it, though. They pop forward with that Luna ultimate. Looks like he might be able to get Spartan until the Shallow Grave goes down. Moderate's going to be able to come forward. He also has the ultimate, too, so he can just focus down Silent with all these right clicks. Silent should go down, and Old Chicken is low enough underneath that chakram. He has to back himself away as well. He tried to actually kill the Timber Saw oh with ice the Blade Mail, and he got him with the Ancient Apparition. They act that actually succeeded. He blade mail walked into double chakra, oh, almost shit. killed the, himself. The blade mail actually killed, almost killed the timber. Yeah, and and the, it was just the ice blast that ends up getting him in the end. Blade mail, like what an item on alchemist. Yeah, <laughs> you said he likes to go for it. Seems pretty decent, especially against timber saw. But we really do see the effect of it here. I mean, the BKB on the Timber Sword is still gonna change. I mean, it's gonna help against the Nyx and the Luna, but you're still gonna get uh, Blade Mail damage from your from your ultimate, since yeah. it's pure. So right now, how about the Slug? Has he completed a... Uh, oh, she hasn't really 
progress in items yet. Like he really needs to get more items like Abyssal or maybe even get the Scarly next. They need the slug to be bigger than this to fight. Yeah. Uh, he does get the Abyssal Blade now, but if they manage to get the uh, the Luna Butterfly in you know maybe five minutes, that Slark is going to have a whole lot harder time trying to focus down that uh, that mm. Luna in these fights. And I think that it's probably also time for the Alchemist to build another item on his own. He's not actually that strong anymore. Yeah. Because he stopped for a Blade Mill and he bought an Agonimus for his team outputs of Feral. Maybe next time does manage to get the Glimmer Cape off, but there is a gem. While well, the Ice Blast doesn't land, and he managed to dodge the Alchemist out as well. It seems like he just isn't destined to survive here. Shallow Grave goes down, and Moders actually go straight for Old Eleven. They managed to get the vacuum wall back as well. Old Chicken has to turn around, throws out the unstable concoction, but he's stuck underneath so oh, much damage. He goes down, God. he cuts him down with a chakra. Well, Moderate keeps him in place, and Moderate's gonna go for more. They're gonna be able to catch at least one. That's gonna be Garter. Quickly surround him, the Luna. Looks to Dude, escape though. That weave for and soul catcher in the mm -hmm. team fights. Holy shit! I mean, it just brings this alchemist down so quickly. He had he's that gun. Oh, they have agrims on the SD. Let's see, it's Ooh. gonna be good, great against the Luna. Does that break the Luna's moonclave? Yeah, it breaks the, okay. the glaives and the the other the passive, the other passive, the blessing, the Luna's yeah. blessing. I mean, that's not a big deal, but <laughs> 38 damage. Every little bit helps, though. And it'll, and it'll just kind of keep him in place for, for Madara to continue to beat yep. onto him. Even if even if he pops BKB, right? He's yeah, just... we, we were just talking oh, yeah. so much about the Ehomes Agonims, but we forgot about Oh, Actinon has pretty good Agonims as well. They really do. If, if someday, 55 minutes from now, Spartan could get himself an Agonim Scepter as well, that's always cool. Down with the weave. That would be the dream, you know? Yeah. <sighs> Unfortunately for him, there's no Alchemist on his team. <laughs> And, and he's not like Shatter Demon. The reason Shatter Demon has an Ags and a Glimmer Cape is he's able to disrupt the Alchemist and use those illusions to his own good. Our Dazzle is, uh, has no such farming mechanisms. More fun to play a Shadow Demon support, that's what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> much more fun. Uh, for E-Home right now, they... Oh, they got a BKB on the Alchemist, so that's, uh, that's a good step for them. He really needs it to be able to survive in the fights. And for the Luna, I think he almost has his butterfly. Uh, does he have it? Yeah, he already, he has the quarter stuff and just yeah. a little bit short from um, the talisman. That's, hey, that's gonna change the fights a lot. Skylark's almost got 4,200 gold. Do you think because you have such good uh, enemy heroes to get a replicate off of, do you think it's worth getting an Agadem Scepter or do you prefer the more worth. traditional Shiba's? Worth. Agadem's worth. worth this All right, I'm with you. Every single time I see a Luna, I think worth. With the Agonim Scepter. Alchemist with Radiance as well, it's pretty good. Uh, I think you don't really need the side of voice as much right now since you have the Abyssal on the Slark, so I would strongly consider the Axe on the Dark Yeah. See what Skylark chooses. Right now they're trying to do Roshan. Looks like they will be able to do it. Evil may still get an initiation to turn this fight to their favor. They're gonna be able to find maybe next time first, but a wall vacuum! They caught three into that one. Moderate goes forward again, straight for old eleven, takes out the utility hero. Old Chicken tries to beat on the moderate, but Moderate still had Stoltzmit and he hasn't been ice blasted, so he's gonna be able to regen quite a bit. Spartan with the shallow gray, taking through all this one, Siler, hoping to be able to make sure he doesn't survive. In fact, the nuke will stop that TP, but still, you got two supports and Ad Finum are still gonna be able to watch away with that Aegis. That was still really, really surprisingly good despite I was like, oh, Athenon got a really big vacuum wall. Fight's probably gonna go their way, but still like Ehome was able to win the fight handily, getting yeah, to a two for one. Uh, and he will. He's gonna try and go for one of those support pickoffs, but it looks like he's been caught Jesus and Madara. <laughs> there goes that Aegis, we're just crazy. Does he have ulti? Does he have ulti? Oh, he doesn't have ulti. He doesn't. He's done for. He doesn't have BKB, he doesn't have ultimate. Oh my god, look. And now Thug might be dead. Thug has to make the long range timber chain over the river, but he's already being stunned up. He oh. turns around, Chakrams denies himself with Bloodstone, but on? Ad Venom just, uh, again, it's one, of, it's one of the moderate plays. Like, that guy has been such a good stable carry for Ad Venom, but another situation where he chooses to go back in as the Slark and try and make that extra play, and it bites him in the ass real swiftly. 
Yeah, you know, the other thing is like the BKB on the old chicken alchemist is clearly doing a lot of work in the last fight as well. That was mm -hmm. something that he had a lot of trouble with in the team fights without the BKB, the Timbersaw, the Darks here. Oh, Madara trying to deal with Sylar right now. With oh, look at the damage! That butterfly is just allowing him to do absolutely nothing against Sylar, and the damage quickly they, turned they, around. They have to try and go in soon. The weave is at maximum duration right now. It is about to wear off in just a couple of seconds here, and after that's gone, Eho may be in pretty good fighting shape. They back away after taking that melee racks, happy with what they've gained so oh, far. The uh, this game. Just so back and forth all the time. All right, oh. they're gonna get old eleven. Man, poor old eleven, man. You see, like every Dude, this guy, time. he's not getting the eggs, and he's always getting. Yeah, <laughs> like Stark, he like beelines it for Nick's assassin every single fight. Uh. He did have buyback on the Nick's. Oh, Nick's doesn't have buyback. That might be a problem. Can they stall another forty seconds for that? That's the big question right now. Well, if any hero is going to be able to stall, it's going to be the Naga Light here. Alchemist spams out the uh, the illusions of his, tries to push everything out. Looks like Ad Venom will not be trying to go for that. Instead, they're going to try and, looks like, maybe push that tier 2 before Nyx Assassin is up, but it doesn't look like they're going to be fast enough. Ah, uh, it's not enough time for them, yeah. probably. And you don't really want to force a fight, a full 5 versus 5 fair fight. Yeah, but the thing is, like, if you want to wait for Rosh, it's going to take, like, you just took Rosh, so yeah. it's going to take some time. It's, that that fight there after the Rosh was really, really crucial for Adfinan, but <laughs> mistakes were made. This right now in in the back of your mind, I feel like you're like thinking we're probably gonna have to wait for the next Roshan and try not to mess up again. Yeah, because it's like a really tense situation right now. Any mistake they make, it's just gonna lose them again. They have no more you know room for error. Oh, old chicken doesn't actually go AC or Shiva. It looks like he's going to Mjolnir. Good at dealing with the illusions and just more yeah. offensive capabilities. And uh, the active is really effective versus Chakram and Dark Pack, right? Yep. Small instances of Still though, uh, he doesn't have a high amount of armor and if he gets hit by the weave, I can see him dying <laughs> in, a, in a few right clicks from the slot. Do you think he doesn't want the AC because of the wall? Of the wall? Like, you think that's worth not having an AC? I don't know, he's, he's, I think he's gonna die when they have the weave on him really quickly when, yeah. and the slot hits him. He's just gonna die very quickly. Especially with the slug, with that butterfly and the Luna. Slark really doesn't have too many reasons to continue to try and focus Siler down. You can see, oh, look at the damage to the part! Holy oh, oh. crap! 30 to 33, oh. and Admin have now come forward to get the three man back. He's nice double stun though. Old 11 once again to get the target. Come on, leave this guy alone. Madara on the back. going for the support of the back line, but this guy does not have buyback. And Old Chicken, he bought back himself. If they can actually win this fight, this could be the end of the game. But Old Chicken at the same time already down to half health, forced into BKB. Nice shallow grave stay on the Skylark. A stun on it maybe next time. Gonna be dodged here. Old Lana gonna be cleaned up in the backside. Madara takes him out. Garner's gonna be a victim of Thugs, Chakrams as well. Whirling Blade to find yet another life. Oh no, Eho. Eho have blown the buyback on the Alchemist and do not win that engagement. They're going to back away with their two cores. Will manage to stay alive, but I was still. just talking about how squishy he is and he just ran up and he just... He died. Yep. He just died to shut the, the heal bomb. He had no armor. Mm -hmm. okay, that, that is an issue for Eho. They need to get a... What item is he going to replace now? There's nothing he can replace. What are you? Because he sells that Mjolnir for the AC. What what are you gonna replace this? Yeah, I don't think there's really much he's gonna be doing anytime soon. Replace the radiance, Lul. <laughs> so that you 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 stop the SD from getting strong illusions and the wall. I don't and, know. And like the that. wall replica. I would probably replace the ra radiance. I don't know. I was about to say that like that if you have that mindset, right? Don't get AC because of the SD illusion. It like, kind of works for radiance too. So. Oh, well, it's a hard call though. I don't know. I just don't like the last item that you went for, the Mjolnir. Yeah. He really needs that um, like something to beef him up. Like he, he is just way too squishy to physical damage. All right. Do we have any uh, fresh items, by the way? What is Madara? Timber has his up ah, Octarine Core. Okay. Uh, looks like MKB is not too far away from Madara. He just needs another fourteen hundred. He already has the double javel. Huh? Yeah, he has the double jab. Oh, he already does have it. Okay, well, never mind. He doesn't need any extra gold. Gotta work his way towards a buyback. Okay, he has no. Uh, he has no buyback for two minutes anyway. Yeah. So. so presumably the next two minutes for Ad Venom, gonna be trying to play it a little bit cool, right? 
Wait for the buyback, because you're in a great position with the Alchemist uh, having recently... Judging used. by what happened throughout the game, I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't Amphita, man. They don't play it cool. In fact, look at them. They're grouping up for a smoke. Let's go. No buybacks. Doesn't matter. Let's go. <laughs> no buyback. You could literally wait for like a minute. A minute and a half and say, we have buyback in 30 seconds, let's try and fight. But no, Ad Venom are like, let's go, a minute and a half, this could lose us the game, yeah. but we're going to search for that. The, the thing is, if you're playing like this, your opponent might not expect it, and sure. the surprise factor sometimes is enough to yeah. catch your opponent off guard and you take a good fight. Yeah, I mean, it may lose you the game, but it also may win you the game straight up, so. The enemy is like, ah, oh, they don't have buyback, they're probably going to wait for it. Mm -hmm. Then you make a smoke play, you catch that. The problem is, E-Home. They are more than capable to sit in their base and farm Ooh. the uh, Alchemist Illusion. And so. Sila is going for a final item, Blood Torn. God. Old 11. His life has been so goddamn rough all game long. What, but did, he, finally, what, what did he buy? No, he was gifted the Agonims. To, oh, to Nyx? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he finally got it. 50 and he, minutes. And he's so happy. He's so happy. You see, he's like spamming Burrow everywhere he goes. That's going to be the, uh, you know, high ground defense. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, like, Adfin is still, after that last fight, you know, prime position because the Alchemist had to blow his buyback, and he is actually very, very weak right now. The mm -hmm. Alch he... it, um, look at this item. Siler is going to be going for the Bloodthorn. So this is something that is going to potentially destroy Thug if he does well. He's got... Lotus Orb I mean, they have Lotus and BKB, so... I... <laughs> but this is something that Modern will have to play around a little bit, right? Yeah, he has to be more careful. I mean, I... Whoa! Thug just goes straight into all of these heroes! BKB, double chakrams, he starts running himself away. Uh... That's a BKB on cooldown. Um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a lot of ums in this game, I believe. Disruption onto an Alchemist Illusion. But that was like some YOLO play right there. Yeah. I would, I, like, did you not expect that many? I don't know. Keeping his team vision, like so the Darkseid can get a great wall, like him wall. True, true. I mean, he, he went for the Hex, I'm not sure if he talked away. We were like, ah, oh, oh, yeah. good Aghanim's game, or maybe a Shivers, but he actually still went for the Hex despite uh, having an Abyssal on Slug. He just won a lot of disables. As disables and Alchemist buying a gem for his team, you know. Why not? You talk about being a team player, you know, gets the agony for the Knicks finally at 50 minutes and gets the team a gem. Yeah, this is where, uh... Man, I can't help but feeling like this Alchemist would be more effective if he had the traditional, like, Chivas, AC, AC and Abyssal, like, and Moonshard. And... But I think he needs the BKB this game. The BKB That's is uh, something that he definitely wants to have, but I'm not sure about the uh, Mjolnir. It's like the question I'm going to pose to him if I get to ask. Uh, Modern like, needs some help. Spartan will give him a helping hand there with the four staff, which uh, it managed to get. So even hard five positions getting gold. That's how you know it's real gold. It's going late game. Well, the, the other thing that I think Affinum would want to rectify in the next few minutes is to get the slug one. Like, the slug is not progressing items for quite some time already. Like, he needs to have, he needs to get one more item. Probably Skadi. Mm, yeah. What else would you get? But do you want Butterfly this game? You kind of need to tank up a bit, right? Yeah, and he doesn't have Silver, so he doesn't have that much stats on yeah. his items. And this is the... In, in some ways, this is the danger for e -Home. That we talked about. Hey, they're they're going to be really strong once we saw that Alchemist get to that point. But they are in some ways running against the clock just because Adfinum can continue to scale so much more. Whereas Ehome are definitely topping out quite soon. I may need the Slark and the Doctor. The Timber is already mostly. Um, what else do you want as a team right now? Uh, probably just. I don't know. The Lotus is also very important for him. They still don't have a, a Shivas on their team. Yeah, Shivas would be nice. Uh, Maybe at some point you don't really want a Bloodstone anymore. I, yeah, I know I sometimes so. players just sell the Bloodstone in the game. Yeah, especially once you're if you're down to like 12 charges or anything below that, it just doesn't make too big, too big of a difference when your death timer is 80 seconds. And the range racks will slowly but surely be chipped away by the illusion pushes. Oh, yeah. Manta Stall, Luna, Manta Stall, Alchemist. 
they have to like make a first. Oh, nice four staff there. Old eleven just gets one step ahead of the vacuum. That's that important ability that's on cooldown. And he has the Aegis, by the way, on the. Oh, he does. All right. Well, all the more reason for him to play that front line. Who has the the cheese? I'm presuming one of the supports has it. That would be uh, Alman. We need to give it up when necessary. Probably not that useful on him. He's he's just uh he's that's just a placeholder. He's just holding it until somebody else needs it. Right now they're just like doing the the no risk thing, sending the illusions up, and the Nyx just sitting behind. Yeah. But this is just very annoying. Like Athena has to find. An initiation with the Darkseer. Okay, well, the Darkseer does manage to pull him back in. Scythe Fight actually pulls him out of that one. They're going to be able to execute Old Eleven, but that's just the Aegis. They've already blown BKB as well as the Slark's ultimate there. So maybe they feel comfortable surging forward and fighting up against Ad Finim now. Old Chicken tries to go forward, but he's already been disrupted. Now he has his own illusions to face up again. He is finally going to show himself a little bit on the front lines here. The illusions start going to work on the Thug. He bounce back some damage on the Garter. Siler comes forward with BKD of his own, but he gets uh, backed up almost immediately. He's down to half health. Madara is actually threatening him with his MKB. They have to force staff and get him out of the wall area. And Skylar's going to be the target. They actually throw down the cheese. It looks like Siler's going to be able to eat that one up and come back into play. And it's going to be Adfin and forcing the buybacks here. They have a Darkseer buyback, but they've already had to blow one. Madara as the Slark is holding high ground here. Night, next buyback, just waiting for their opportunity. Is E home push forward? The down's gonna be target immediately. Managed to pop him. No shallow grave and no buyback. Available for Ad Venom now. Vacuum. Managed to catch the next assassin once again. This time around, this oh, deck racks, is going to be number two. But melee, they're actually taking everything out. The whole entire top lane is just being cleaved through by Siler. Modder trying to go on to him, but he can't afford a death here against Old Chicken. He's actually trying to get this kill. Siler forced out the way. Clever cave a little bit more, but Modder gets it in the end. Now he can turn his attention to Old Chicken, and they need this win too. Modder, he's actually being forced away. He needs a little bit of help. The frostbitten in effect is still on top for a few more seconds. It's away now, though, and Old Chicken, he really can't too much. They're going to buy slowly but surely their time, allow Madara to heal up, and they'll get that kill. But so much damage is done. There's still one Rex. There's still hope. There's still hope for Atheran. Yeah. One Rex remains for them, and how many buybacks did they use? Two? They use two. Two buybacks. Darkseer and, uh, and the and Slark. The slot, yeah. But a buyback was used by the Nyx Assassin as well. If they can actually go down mid, Control these lanes a bit, but go down mid and force an alchemist buyback. Yeah, they, they would be on. They really have to force a buyback from me right now. Otherwise, it would be really problematic. They respawn and they're just gonna push again. And with the buyback advantage, they're gonna be able to overpower Aphelion. So Aphelion needs to level the playing field right now. Force the buyback from Ehome. Do you think Ehome holds on to the buyback of Luna in nope. exchange for uh, <laughs> alchemist buy? Oh, Luna. For mid lane. Do you, do you give up a lane of racks and potentially two? To yeah, you you actually think about keeping the Luna buyback since it's just uh, one set of racks right now. Yeah. And it's 20 seconds. The Alchemist should be able to hold this long enough for the Luna to be alive. 18 seconds. They know Luna does not want to force that. Does not want to use that uh, buyback. They, they need to jump. To try and force it. They need to jump the snakes. They need to kill the snakes if they want to get the racks. Yeah. The snakes is just so annoying. Ah, he really is. He's burning through everybody's mana. Managed to catch Thug there. Of course, look, the look at Madara. He's like close to no mana. Thug. Uh, he's got the Lotus Orb if necessary. Actually managed to catch him as he turns around and goes for the Chakram. Skylar flings himself forward. Now he actually gets a visible blade. up. They can actually pop him, but it's disrupted. It buys him a bit of time, but Modern's in trouble. Oh. He goes down. He's dead for two minutes. The offensive blade comes through in the clutch for Old Chicken as he takes out Adfinim oh members my one by one in a buy. There it is. GG. That's it's game three. Force. That's game three. Oh my god. Woo! Adfinum will lose this game number two, and we are going to a game three. The what series goes game. to the bitter end here. What a game. So in the end, they got Alchemist. <laughs> Still, even with a rather weird and strange and odd, you want to call it interesting item build by mm -hmm. Old Chicken, he still managed to...